and welcome to this I Change Stamping video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the petal cone die to make a perfect little treat. So as I'm cutting this, I'll kind of explain why I'm doing it. Tomorrow is MOPS. My daughter and I are both members of MOPS and I'm a discussion group leader. And so every so often we give table gifts. And so you get to see firsthand the gift that I'm giving tomorrow. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out one half of the cone using the crease pad. And so that gives me that one right there. And then I'm going to cut a second. Now the cardstock size that you need is going to be five and a half by six and a quarter. Um, and so that way you're not wasting any any uh, any extra cardstock. So it's a good size to cut it down to before you run it through your big shot. All right. So now I've got the two halves, and I'm going to move the rest of this out of the way. And now I'm going to start stamping. I'm going to use the Bliss Celebration stamp set because I just love it. And I'm going to stamp it in the real red onto the real red that we cut out. Now, before we go any further, on one side of it, I'm going to cut off the two half circles because I don't need them. And so I'll just quickly cut those off. And then this is going to be the front. I'm going to stamp this all over the front there. Now my other piece is going to be the back. So when this is folded, that's going to be the front. And then this one here will fold like this to go together. So I need to stamp these two parts right here because that's going to show and then because I don't want the back side to just be plain, because it takes like two seconds, I'm just going to stamp the back. So now to put this together, you will want to use your sticky strip. And so you find the end of it. There we go. And I'm just going to lay it onto that flap there. And cut with my sticky strip scissors. Ooh, there we go. And then do the same thing on this flap over here. Okay, so this one was nice and started itself for me. And then this one here. So now you simply take these and line it up. So I've got sticky strip here and here. This one's just going to layer right on top. And then I'm going to fold it over to the other side. And that is seriously how hard it is to make these little petal cones. Very, very easy. Okay, so then I have my little cone. Now I'm going to dress it up some because I don't want to leave it plain. I'm going to put, I'm going to kind of flatten it out. I'm going to put two pieces of sticky strip. One right here to that very edge, and then one to the other side. And it doesn't have to go all the way to the middle on each. I'm going to peel those up, get my sticky strip stuff off of me. And then I'm just going to take our, I tied a bow there, let me trim that part off. Just going to take our black grow grain ribbon, get a big old healthy chunk of it. And I'm going to do the ribbon scrunching where I just take it and loop and press and loop and press. I'm going to go over that fold area and keep on going. Now right about here I'm going to leave a flat spot. And then simply going to trim that with my ribbon. So I've got that cute little border at the top. Now I'm going to take one of the, word, one of the phrases from God's Blessings. And I'm simply going to stamp this on some white cardstock. 
All right, so I'm going to stamp onto a piece of cardstock that is two by two and a quarter inches. I'm going to stamp this in real red ink. And then I said to stamp that on the wrong side, so I thought that looked weird. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that in real red ink onto that whisper white. And then take some snail. And using that extra red cardstock that I cut off earlier that I didn't need from the petal cone, that's going to give me my perfect little border. Now I'm going to take a dimensional and it's going to go in the upper left hand corner. Kind of stick that right on there. And then for my ribbon, I'm going to use the mini glue dot. Just take that bow and stick that right there where that flat spot was. That gives me a good place to, um, to adhere my ribbon. And then I got these cute little candies and they'll just tuck right in there. And then I've got a cute little gift for everybody at my table. So I hope you've enjoyed this I Teach Stamping video tutorial where you got to learn what I'm making for mops this week. Have a great day. I hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial where I've taught you what I'm making for the people at my mops table this week. Remember, you can learn more at iteachstamping.com.